Okay, the next pattern we talked about, we have it set up right now. As you can see, I'm walking along this line. This yellow line is actually a tape measure. And from where the camera is, all the way to the other end, is 40 feet. So when you set this up, all you're doing is making a square. 40 feet, 40 feet the opposite way, 40 feet, back to this, make 40 feet. And the next thing you do is you go half of this, which is 20 foot long. And then from 20 foot, you go in, you go in approximately six feet. Most of the time you do about three feet, but six feet in. And you do the exact same thing in the inside. If you see all the green cones, they are six feet in from the square. So it's like a square inside of a square, almost like a diamond. And the object of this is to ride, you come into your gate, back up some, back all the way back. The object of this is to ride between these two gates, come back in and ride the inside of each green cone at 40 feet. It can be done even on a big bike like a gold wing. The only difference is to make it a twisted type propeller type you can take this and you have another cone because this right here is only 12 cones if you use 16 cones you can take this cone just like we've done in an offset cone weave put it out as far as you can to get speed and make a gate out that direction but no matter what when you come back around when you come back around you always under all circumstances have to go in the inside of the green cones that makes sense Maybe I'll do a draw up and show you guys how it look on a paper. That way, if we'd have had a drawing, you'll understand it more. I just got to find this pattern. I don't remember the exact name of it. I just got to find it and then show you exactly how it is. And once you did, you got 16 cones or 16 markers, 16 objects, whatever, I don't care what it is. And you're riding in a friction zone. And as you spread it out, obviously, you need a bigger parking lot. As you spread it out, you can get some speed on. And then you see your gate way out there. Then you could just drop down and do the lean and everything. And then that'll get you riding twisties also. So I'm going to get on there, demonstrate it a couple times. And then we're just going to ride it. We're going to be out here all day. I'm going to just ride it a couple times just so you can see how it is. And you can go set your own up. So I'm going to go ride it right now. And we have this camera here on. Let me turn it on. And now we have this camera recording static and cake is right there recording from there. Yes, we are. So what I'm gonna do is do a, a slow roll through it and cake, I want you to kind of follow behind me. Matter of fact, first of all, <laughs> I need to pick up the tape measure. <laughs> I don't have one of those wheels because we travel too much. Now think about, let me explain a little bit something. Think about this, your gate that you got on the outside of this cone, didn't have to go inside the green cone. Could be wide as you want it. Right now, I think I have it at six or seven, probably seven feet. Put it at three feet and then your turn is gonna be a lot sharper. My well, cake was telling me to let you guys know, like this is, 40 feet squared, and your gate cone is on a diagonal, not directly in line with the square. So let me go on and run it right quick. So normally, hold on, let me turn around. You can enter any gate you choose. So I'm just going around in this some corner to show you it doesn't matter which gate you enter. So what I'm doing now is just circling the entire setup. And I'm going to do a slow run. I'm going to come through this gate right here, baby. I'm going to do a slow run, very slow, and explain it. I'm going to get a hold of Mario. I wonder if he retired yet so he can... Tell me exactly what the name it is. So I'm coming here 
through this gate right here. Now, if the gate, the gate, like Cake said, they're all diagonally. You can put them in it where you want, but come through the gate. And then the next thing I have to do is go to the inside of the green cone right here. Once I go to the inside of the green cone, I got to go back on the outside and come through the next gate. And then really look and lean to come back inside of this green cone. Then outside, <laughs> go back between the next gate and do the same thing all the way around. Now, if you're not afraid to lean your bike, then this is a good one. It forces you to turn around. Now I gotta slow down and make this gate and then lean my head all the way, turn my head all the way back around to get to this last gate and back where I started from. And then I will turn around and go the opposite direction. So I'm gonna run it real quick. And normally it's just that slow if I stay the way I was doing it. But now I'm going to try to put my wheel all the way to the, either the middle or to the outside of this cone. So this is how you run it. I'm running it in first gear, friction zone, almost like a cone weave. Now I got to come out, look all the way here just to get around that cone. Then come back, lean in it, outside, all the way around to get around this cone. And this is the beauty of it. Back outside, through this gate, all the way around, which I'm probably going to miss this corner if I don't take it right. See, my head already focused on the next gate. I focus on that gate. Did I start right here, baby? Okay, and I'm finished. Now I'm going to go around and do it the opposite direction, direction in which I'm going the other way. So I'm going to start from this gate and do the same thing, starting on the outside. I'm already looking toward the green cone, inside gate, boom. That one easy, the first one always easy. Now I gotta come all the way around, really turn the handlebars, turn my head, using the friction zone, little brake. Felt like I hit a cone, I did. That would happen when you turn too tight on them. And then I gotta complete it by doing the same thing. Now what I like to do with this pattern and start off, honestly, I'm gonna leave that cone down. Start off in the inside, assessing how tight, how closely the green cones are. This is the way I like to do it. Actually, this is the way I was trained. And then we come out and start running it right here. Now I'm forced to go back inside, come back out, look around, come back out, Look around, quick head turn, come back out. What it kind of remind you of? I missed that one. Kind of remind you of the uh, offset cone weave, don't it? Now I'm going to do one thing. I'm just going to make two of them wide. And this is why it's good to have different color cones. I'm going to make these, this corner wide and probably the other corner over there wide. So I'm gonna, what I'm going to do now, if I had 16 cones, then I'll put the wide all the way out here. So what I'm going to do now and put this way out here. Bam. But I got to make it a gate. So right here, I got to come between this gate right here. So now from that, I got to come all the way through this gate, turn my head all the way back just to get to the green cone, because the object is to always go inside of the green cone. So let me go put this cone back up. And maybe I will make this a wide one. Put this one back up. So what I'm gonna do is make this end a wide a wide, I mean, it's just beautiful. I'm gonna put it way over here by her bike. That way I get some speed going. Yeah, I like this. But I'm gonna make it three feet. So I'm forced to come in three feet. Matter of fact, the other wide, but I'm gonna make it three feet also. So from here, immediately I gotta do a sharp turn, go inside the green cone, now I can go all the way out here. Got to get inside that three-foot three gate right here. 
Made it? Yes. Then I got to come all the way back around, set myself up, go inside the green cone to make this gate, all the way in U-turn inside this green cone. Now, make that gate all the way out there. Woo, kind of wide. There we go. I make it? Yes. Now I got to come all the way back to go inside that green cone. <laughs> Start from the beginning. So now what I'm going to do is do it the opposite direction. Start from the wide gate all the way out here. Three foot. Three foot gate. Clear it. Look where I want to go. Just knocked it down. I heard it. I heard it. <laughs> okay, I'm going to just go through it again. I heard it. I felt it on my foot. So, okay, go here. Now I got to look all the way back and come inside that green cone. Focus on to go all the way to the sharp one right here. Basically a right U-turn going inside this one. Now all the way back there again. Oh yeah, this is a great mountain road. Ooh, woo! Inside this three feet. Don't knock them down. Nope. And then back inside this one. Back inside that one. That's the original one I knocked down. Another sharp right turn back over to where I originally started all the way at this end. Huh? Right here? Okay, right here, back in. Let's go all the way out here. Side, come back, get a little speed. <clears throat> Now look where I want to go. I'm going to come inside the green cone. Come to the last next gate right here. Sharp left turn. Basically a U-turn going left. Inside that green cone. Back all the way out to the other one I knocked down. Three feet. Back inside the green cone. Back out. All the way inside. Back out there. and complete. Okay, that's the 40 square or propeller. If anybody know the name of this, please let us know. So what I'm gonna do is probably when I get home, probably put it at the beginning of the video, is show you how I look on paper because it's kind of hard to see out here. But that's all we have for today. I want to bring you another exciting got to have a big parking lot for this one something where you can get some speed on and then go into your tight turns then speed and tight turns and speed and tight turn we call it 40 square or you call it square diamonds or propeller whatever you want you once i draw it up you'll see why we call it the propeller because it looked like a ship propeller that's all i have for right now so if y'all riding remember ride long ride hard ride strong and most importantly for motion jeans riders i'm rich Behind a camera. I'm <laughs> and we out. Peace.